Hello, it's Sarah. And I'm making tiles. I figured I'd share these. This is um, something new, something different that I've, I'm trying. This is a piece where these were some tiles that I saw, and I, I'm pretty sure her name is Cynthia Tinapple. And from what I understand, she's been claying since like the 80s, since the very beginning. Um, and she does canes and really, you know, good stuff. But I was drawn to this. It was a simple geometric pattern um, tiles. I mean, uh, and basically all I did was take my, I happen to have a couple of the sets of the little um, cookie cutters. These are actually in the clay baking, the clay aisle. Uh, I have I have a lot of different cookie cutters. So I just, I made these up the other day and you can see the difference here and I actually patinaed them. So see this one hasn't been. I just wanted to be able to show you the difference and this one has. And I think I used um, Payne's Gray. So along with those I'm gonna make a few more you gotta have a good stash like I don't have very many um, I made a couple small ones but I found these buttons and I think they match really well so I pulled them out of my stash and I'm gonna embed them in the clay so I'll put the purple one in like a piece of yellow clay and you know so I'm gonna grab this is all the clay I was been working on I actually have I bought souffle for the first time this is the first time I've ever used the souffle this is by uh, Sculpey as well and it is let's see this is called canary and it's just called Sculpey souffle it's pretty soft I think it's around um, the texture of like the uh, got black on it of the accents the primo accents I'm just putting it through my pasta machine and because I'm embedding I'm gonna keep this at around my machine says three I'll put it on here and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put some of the purple ones in the yellow I could zoom back a little bit. Here we go. So let me um, cover up that because it's shining at me. Purple. I like it. I like the purple on the yellow. Look at the swirly. Kind of looks like a streamer. I like it though. I think I'm going to embed that in the clay. Now, when I say I'm going to embed it, these are plastic so I won't bake it with it in there. I'm going to bake the clay and then I'll glue these in permanently when it comes out of the oven. But I have these flowers, um, these littler flowers, and this swirly. So I'll put all these in the purple, I mean in the yellow. Um, and I'm just going to make kind of a shadow, not even really pressing too hard just an indention and then I'm going to take my blade loosen it up because I just pressed it down to the tile I don't want it to stick um, I have a couple other things on a tile I was playing with some beads I don't know if I love these it's just silver clay but I'm I'll be gonna bake those so this is a baking tile that I'm kind of um, getting ready so I'm just gonna put these tiles on there after I cut them so let's see hmm it's kind of tricky when you I hope hopefully I'm in the shot I did a bunch of stuff on one tile the other thing is I could have um, embellished but these are they're pretty geometric and I wanted to keep it just plain I may I could put some lines we'll see but I'm gonna go for a straight line and a straight line and see how that goes And I like to let the uh, the button do the talking. So I'm not trying to spruce up the clay too much. And that's not looking really square. 
and I just took the souffle is really soft so look I just totally distorted that because I'm not over my camera seems like it's back further today I could pull it forward I think I'm gonna pull it forward with my feet yeah that's better um it's on a tripod and it was just back too far it's just easier for me to work when it's right up close to me so I'll do another love let me try and cut these without distorting but this is soft so that's the thing when you um, work with soft clay it will distort so be careful when you're picking it up and try and keep that nice square shape so I have it now I'm just going to take this out gently try not to distort it and if you've pushed it in too far you'll probably distort it so so far this has been not a very successful yeah I'm gonna redo that too and maybe I won't even push these down since I'm having a really hard time keeping the let's try this one watch just gonna barely even push it down at all Oops, now it moved. Listen, this is the trials, the trial and errors of claying. You don't, you know, nothing's perfect in life. You gotta work a little bit, be patient, and there we go. All right, now hopefully this is just gonna come right off because I didn't push, but it's sticky, soft clay. So, boy, this is really not working today. It's only it's only a hundred degrees out, so you know, no wonder. Um, I'm gonna use my. It's on my desk, and I just can't see it. My Exacto bleed. Here it is, and I'm just gonna softly, I mean gently, use it to. Yeah, that is sticky. Cause look, it was not embedded in that clay. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna bake it, and hope for the best my goodness that is sticky ridiculously sticky set this aside where you know where it is and I might do these off camera since this is really not cooperating today it's too small see look this one definitely made an impression see if you can see that see the impression of that flower so I'll just continue by as long as the four sides are square I'll be happy that looks good now if I can gently put it ugh, move it to the baking tile and flatten it out a little bit make sure it's not like got there you go so that one's ready and you know what it's well worth it when you have okay so that came off so that's good just have to cut here we go so I got three it's so sticky souffle may be a winter time clay <laughs> it's very 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 soft it's been like we're I think this is maybe like the longest heat wave um, in a long time well maybe since 2012 so that's not that long but it's been in the 90s for like two weeks and it's not my favorite temperature I know some people love it but see I embedded this too deep oh it's coming um, so yeah, I think next week it's supposed to go back to the 80s. So I went out today and did some stuff and you get home and you're just dripping by the time you're done out there. The car can't even cool down by the time you um, get home. I live really close. I went to BJ's and I got new glasses, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I'll show you when I get them. I'm try I was trying to do like a plastic frame with the dark, some dark color, like you know the black frames that are so popular, but I couldn't do it. I went with a much bolder metal frame, but it's still a metal frame. Um, 
I'm not going to push down. I'm just going to leave it in there. Um, so yeah, it's hard. It's a very hard, you, you know what, you always end up picking the same style that you always wore. And I really wanted to try something new. And I mean, it's definitely, a, it's a step in the right direction, but it's not exactly what I thought I was going to do. And my eyes are really close together, so a lot of the frames just don't look right on me. They look way too big. So what else do I have? I have these orange ones. Let's put orange on what? Pink? Nah, it won't show up as bright. How about on the blue or green? Green, green, green. I love this color green. Now this is just the Sculpey Green Pearl. It's called the Sculpey Accents and it's called Bright Green Pearl. But And it's not as soft as the Souffle. But the pearl is usually pretty soft, but it's not as soft as that souffle. I haven't used the souffle very much. I think I have one other color in this um, souffle, just because I wanted really bright popping colors, like fluorescent. I would have went with fluorescent if they had it. Um, so this is pretty boring, but this is just a really basic, easy way. And when I did my Christmas mosaic, if you look back in my videos, I used a lot of buttons without clay behind them. So they were just the shape of the button. And I didn't end up liking the result as much as I do when I use, um, I'm going to have to remember <laughs> that I put the orange on the green, as much as I do when I use uh, clay behind it. Because I like when everything's square. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to... Um, I want to make, I might do a couple different styles of tiles. I was going to talk to you about the evolution of an art tile <laughs> or a mosaic tile because um, my uh, journey, it's, it's been about four years that I've been making uh, mosaic tiles out of polymer clay and um, I've tried so many different kinds. I've painted them and use jewelry findings and embedding and uh, what is that called the other uh, gold leafing and you know um, Lori Micah is the book is um, mix, mixed media mosaics and she started it but um, I tend to like bright colors her style is more like uh, Mexican folk art and Aztec and um, gothic even very like um tombs and shrines and things like that and i love that all that richness but i love a pop of color too so um what was i putting on here orange do i have any other orange uh, i don't have any orange swirlies i have these cool looking don't these look like the 60s well you kids wouldn't know I mean, I was a kid in the 60s, but this is like mod. It reminds, the style is mod, right? These like type of flowers, I like them. Um, all right, I'm gonna, I wanna finish this, but I'll do it off camera. I also have these big flower, they're in the scrapbooking, but they're, um, they're really cool when you make a tile out of these. And I think this pink, really plays nice with this. So that's what I was thinking, uh, making a couple of these for this specific mosaic. I have these big pink ones. Um, you know what I'm gonna do while I have this? I'm gonna make a base. So I'm gonna take a decent size. Um, I gotta get my other cookie cutter. Like a decent size square, this size. And just make a base. That's the biggest I want to go. And then, you know, I had that yellow. I'll make another base, but I'll cut it in half. I'll use that, but I'll only cut it. I'll just make it myself. See, that's the thing. With a square, I don't need to um, use a cookie cutter. You can always cut a square without a cookie cutter. 
So the, let's make a couple tiles, but for the base, I want it nice and thick. So this is probably one of the thicker settings on my pasta machine. So, and this is a little wonky. Can you tell that that's not quite square? Uh, that bugs me. So I am going to cut it straight. Oops. Now, if I wanted to make one with a flower on it, that's why that size fits that, that flower. But I want to try some geometric patterns. I think I want to try and put some triangles along here. So I wanted to have a big surface to play with. This one I think, ooh, there's bubbles, air bubbles. I'm going to cut it down to about a middle size. And that's not exactly square either. All right, but that's two bases that we can play with. Um, see, I liked how I did this one, and that's just by cutting some squares apart. So I'm going to need a couple more colors. I'm going to grab some purple, and I have, I need pink and the blue. I think the blue is the other, yeah, the blue is the other souffle color. This is called Robin's Egg, and this is super soft too, but I like the color. That's why I got it. I'm going to go a little thinner with these because these are going to go on top. So I just have a little sheet of each color that I can then cut down into shapes that uh, we can put on top of these tiles. And I know I'll, I'll zoom up really high so you can see. So I'm just rolling out some thinner sheets of clay so that I can cut out some other shapes that we can make a geometric pattern. Um, I want to try making some triangles. What, oh, I need pink. One more thing. Gotta have pink. So here is, what is this? This is looks like, oh, this is just Sculpey 3. So this is super soft. And because, like, it does say to bake them, they're all the same temperature, but they're different times. You can bake the Sculpey 3 longer, and it doesn't hurt it. So um, just bake the piece, the whole tile together for the longest amount of time. I just want it to be smaller. Um, all right, so here's what I have. I have all these different... I don't really need them on my desk. Look how pretty. I love them. That's why I was so attracted to her uh, the tiles when I saw them. So let's just cut some circles. I'm going to cut a purple circle, green. See, I just cut a bunch of different shapes, and then you can play. You can pick and play and see what you want to. Oh, I have two pieces of purple up here. have some blue circles. I want, um, you know what else? I have this triangle. But yeah, I'm going to do the triangle. Because usually I was just cutting the, the square in half to get triangles. Uh-oh. Got it. It's so sticky. It might not be the best to do clay in this friggin' weather. It's so hot. Um, but yeah, so I will just, I'll go off camera and actually, uh, create a bunch of shapes and I'll be right back. Okay, look at all that pretty color. So I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Um, and I may cut these down if I need to, but for right now I'm just going to use the shape and the size that I have, uh, and I'm going to just start and see where it goes. So I'm going to use this green one right now, and I think I see something with these. And you know what's interesting? Um, before, on the other one, I did all the same color on one tile. Like I would do all of these pink. But I'm kind of thinking using one of each color might be cool. I don't know. And... Uh, if not, I have to cut more 
things because I cut like one of each shape. I don't know what I was thinking really. Um, but I kind of like that. I think it's a little, I think I'd rather have them all the way up like on a smaller one. Let's try the smaller one. This is going to be too small. But you see what I'm saying? Like I think I'd like it to be it's so soft. Something like that I think I, I like. I like that. Um, yeah, I didn't think of that, that I have all only one color of every type of clay. Um, the other thing I was thinking about was these oval shapes. I can cut these in half, and I think I did this on one of them. I did it with the, tri I told you, the squares, I cut them in half. I thought I did this on something, but I think, and I might have to put my head in there. If I cut them in half, I can do this type of thing, right? Like, I might just go down the side of this. Should I do? I have to do it all different colors now because I can't do blue. Um, because I didn't cut, I didn't think and ahead of time and like that. How about pink? And then I, I'll cut it here so there's only three. And maybe, should I put the other half? See, it's not quite going to fit. It doesn't quite fit. I don't think I like that anyway. I don't like the, um, all right, uh, <laughs> let's go with, we could just put a heart in the middle of this yellow, a simple heart, and I like these triangles a lot too. See, triangles could do the same thing. And I can go like this instead. Something like that. The pink doesn't show up as bright on the orange. I love pink and orange, but I don't want to put, I want something that's going to pop. Man, the souffle is so soft. It is distorting like crazy. Um, and pink. I like that. That's pretty cool. And then to finish off the tile, you'd want to do some like markings on the clay. Like, uh, so I'll take my ball tool and I'll just put, I don't know, move this over a tiny bit. I haven't even, I haven't put any pressure on these. It is just sticky, 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 sticky. I'm going to put a little rivet in the middle of the triangles. And then when I antique it, it's going to, um, I think that one's done. I'm going to bake that one. Yeah, I don't know if it, yeah, it'll play. But see, all the other ones I did more consistent, like the same, you know. See, I love that. That's, that's a cool one. I think I might want to do that again, maybe on this purple one. How am I going to do that? I still have to use all different colors. But I like this with the different colors. Uh, the circles are cool. It's a lot more to it than meets the eye, huh? 
Um, like for this one, I can just use this and put, I could put little balls of clay and just poke holes. Like, I'll show you what I mean. You know how I do. Take a, a ball of clay. Maybe, you know what, we'll just do one color just to keep it easy. Uh, orange and blue. Yeah, I'm going to do orange and blue. So I'm just going to roll, let's see, I'll roll a snake because I want them to be a little more consistent. And that way if I roll the snake, I can judge it by the size of the snake. And then take a little finger full, put it down. I think those are still too big, so half that size. You know, we could embed things in here, but this style of um, tiles that I'm making, I'm keeping it just very geometric. And um, I don't know that embedding things in it would, would uh, change it too much. I want to keep it real simple and kind of um, childlike almost. You know what I'm saying? Like with these words, they're very... Uh, you know, bubble letters, and it's simple, is what I'm saying, so, um, I don't think I want to put any real bling on here, or, I just want to use the clay, and let the clay do the talking, so, you know what, I think I'm going to finish up some of these, you get the idea, um, and I might have to, I'm going to cut more of the same colors, of same color hearts, you know, at least, yeah, I don't have enough, I like, I might want to repeat the same color, I like the different colors though, it's, it's definitely, alright, but this is what I was thinking on here, and I think I want to use my small ball tool, mm -mm -mm. You know, when I came in here today, it was such a pleasure to, to sit down. My desk was clear. It's a mess now. But it was fun. It was nice to see the room all cleaned up. And so here's what I'm going to do to this one. And yeah, so, and then I can get busy and mess it up. And make some tiles that's pretty cool I like it you could even make a little like with my pokey tool because what happens is when I patina um, paint will go down in these other markings and I think I want to see that I want to see what happens so this is going on my baking tile so sticky my goodness I like that actually I might want to do a couple of them so I'm gonna cut a little another one to do while I have it um, I liked you know what yeah I gotta make all uh, more colors so that I can go same color same color you know um, although let's just go blue Hopefully three will fit on here. Uh, purple, yellow, it just fit. I mean, it just fit. So, oh, I'm not even in the shot. I'm so sorry, I forgot I zoomed in. That's what happens. So, I think I'm going to trim this up. I like the three colors though so this little batch that I'm going to do right now will be the three colors I'm going to take one of my um, etch and pearl tools that's this thing with the like circles in the end and I'm going to make circles inside the circles just oops and I my fingernail took a little piece of the clay out right there because it's so soft Pushing, I'm giving a little pressure. I want to make an indention. And so that's cool, right? I love that. And one more. Just a poke in between. 
I think that looks perfect just the way it is. Uh, I'm going to pick it up with my blade and put it on the baking tile. Yeah, I like that. Um, so see like one here. This is I'll just give you a close up of some of these. This one I wasn't crazy about. And you know, I mean, I just did pokey tools. I have this other cutter, this. Two of them I have, blades. And I never ever use them. So I thought, well, let me play with that and just make some lines. So look, I'm gonna try and do um, just down. Let's see if I can do something with this real quick. I'm gonna do it on this yellow one. Just take the heart off oops, as it sticks. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and make it even, but it's hard. So I'm gonna put a little line on. Oh, I'm not even in the shot. I'm so sorry. But see, a, a rick rack. It looks like rick rack. Right? So that's cute. And then when you patina, the um the paint will be stuck in those little ooh, the shadow. We have two lines now. Oop, I just wanted to make it deeper. I like that a lot. So that's what that was. And then the round circle in the middle is, again, my etch and pearl tool. So I did that. This is sim similar, but I just made the lines, oops, on the triangle. So instead of putting the circle, the little dip dot in the middle of the triangles, I could have done that, which I really do like. I'm going to, I'll do that again. Uh, this flower. I just put little flower lines in it and made it look like almost like stitching around the outside and put little balls of clay in the corners. So that was kind of cool. Uh, this one's cool. I just made circles in, on the circle. I cut it out too. I cut out the middle of the circle and put a smaller circle in the middle of that. So that was a really cool one. Um, so yeah, just use what you have. I mean, this is just basic, a square inside of a square. And then I did all the little ones. This just put a little shape inside of a little square. So whatever shape it was, I did a bunch of these. Just for filler tiles. This is a little bit bigger. I'm going to go up. But when you get these all on a mosaic and who knows I mean maybe I'll add stickles or a little rub and buff um, a little glimmer a little something to them uh, before I'm done because I didn't do anything to these like I, I didn't put any let me just take and do what color should I use on there I'm gonna use some of my Inca gold what color is that yellow um, use the gold the gold leaf see I don't think I want to nope I'm not gonna I'm sorry if I just had like a pearlescent color I mean I could use paint but I just want the it to be all about the color with this type of um, tile so actually I'll go away I'm gonna bake a bunch of them I'll come back and I'll just patina some for you and then I'll be done all right I'll see you in a minute all right everything's dry or baked and you know what guys it actually this is all I made of the colored ones that's it and it took a while and you know what I was pretty I was tired today because I went out this morning and I think the heat just got to me but um this was pretty like fiddly I want to say fiddly I love how they turned out it's the colors the color just is amazing and yes I'm gonna patina don't be mad um, going to do this one too. So, um, yeah, I didn't do any really big ones, but I wanted to show you. So basically for these, uh, buttons, all I do, and you know, I don't really need this because, but I'm going to come down a little. Oh, perfect. I'm using a color that's like the same as my, so I will put it on the mat. But basically I you can't even really see any indention on there because I uh, stopped pressing so hard. So I'm just going to go for it. 
I put a little bit of this. This is the Glossy Accents. It's a really good adhesive. Um, it's clear dimensional medium, but it's also an adhesive, and it, it's a very strong uh, for this type of thing. And it dries clear, and you just center it on there, give it a little press, and let it dry. And when it dries, that's not going anywhere. So I'm going to center it. I'll show you some. I've been gluing. I glued all the other ones. But basically, like, see that one has a little bit of an indent for the little one. I just put a little bit on there. It's going to squish out. Let's see. Um, I think it goes this way. I think I'm wrong. But you know what? It does now. And so this is it. Easy as easy peasy right easy peasy this one has an indent or a, just a little mark of where it went and I'm not sure if I'm gonna add stickles or some varnish to this this actually the green clay is like a pearl clay and this one's kinda tricky because it's it's two-tone almost and I can't really tell which was the back I think this was the back because I bake on a tile, and when you bake on a tile, it, it comes out really shiny. Oh, come on. And I am just going to glue that on. And I'll let them sit for a little bit while we um, add the patina to these um, other ones. And you know what? I could even add patina to them, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to. Um, I'm going to just take them off the tile. Uh, I have to get Payne's Gray. I wasn't ready with that. And Got it. Hi, Kirby. I'm just going to squirt a little bit of this out. And... Get an old scruffy brush and some water. Let's see. You guys have seen this before, but I just want to show you what these tiles look like. And this is, I mean, you can't, you don't get much scruffier than that. I add a little bit of water to the paint just to keep it moving. And I'm going to use a butt wipe. I call them butt wipes, but it's basically a baby wipe get it down in there and that was actually a little too watery I think so I'll let that sit I'm just blotting it on a paper towel look don't be sad that I'm covering all this beautiful color it's okay this is the look I was I want to go for so maybe I won't do it on another one but this time I want to do it I want that paint to go into all the nooks and crannies of these tiles I think it was too wet. We'll see. See, I'm, I'm no expert. I wing it. Try not to get paint all over me, which doesn't happen. I think it was too wet. Maybe not. Yeah, it was. I pulled it out. I mean, you can kind of see it in the lines. So I'm going to put a little more paint out and not add water this time. I'm gonna blot it with a paper towel. But this one turned out cool. And I put little lines in the, um, I'm gonna move this over just a little, um, in the green part. So let's see what that looks like. And I used my X-Acto knife, so I don't know if, if, it, if the paint will seep into there very much because it's gonna be such a fine sliver of opening but it should yeah that seems better and look at this one this one was just a basic rectangles in a rectangle didn't do too much but I just did little slash marks in the pink part so let's see this is so wet I don't even think it's gonna do anything That one looks a little better than the other one did. Got 
paper in there. But that's what you I want it. That's what I'm looking for. So it's not hard. Oh, it's not horrible. It's still bright. Um, but yeah, that one I have to do again. This one. I don't want to pull off that yellow clay. It's not quite going into the the slots I made, the slits. Let's see. I don't even know if my camera can focus when I'm moving like this. I like it. Look, it still has so much vibrancy, I guess, right? All right, I'll go off camera and do the rest, and then I'll come back and show you all my tiles. All right, so this is what I made today. They're all done, patinaed. And this is what I made the other day. So that's not a lot of tiles, guys. It's not. I mean, it's a lot of work. And so you just, you have to keep at it. And then if you add in, see, I think probably these are dry enough. I think it's going to make a super cute mosaic. So I'm going to just put a few things together. I think this green and how about this long one? See, this is the hard part when it comes to mosaics, just figuring out where to put everything. But I have I have a lot of these little filler tiles. And then I'll figure something else out to put in there as well. But like look, if we put a love right there and a flower and what else a swirly a yellow swirly I don't have a lot of yellow backgrounds that's one thing I just noticed I don't have any actually yellow tiles like the back here it is this is my only one I love this one too this is really cool I like the way it looks like rickrack let me zoom in a little See how it looks like rickrack? I like that. But yeah, I don't have a lot of yellow. That's a big yellow flower, but it's not. Um, I love this one too. So, so I totally went different this time um, in the style that I chose to use. I used, um, huh. Maybe, ooh, green, but there's a lot of orange. Where's another green? Put that there. Orange, green, see that's a green. Um, but see, then you have these little, like this is a little tiny flower right there. Is it coming together? See, that's circles. I don't... I have these two shape the same shape circle one purple circle put some little ones in there I can put this guy nope he's next to a purple green nope that's got green um green over here purple Pink. A lot of purple. There's a yellow. Am I even in the shot? Let me move this back. But look how cool that's starting to look. Look at this green love. I like this green love. And I did these pink and orange flowers. I'll put one of them up there. So I'm running out. I think. Oh, geez, Kirby. She's got her heavy toy. That's loud, Kirby. So, yeah. So, look. I, I still have tons more. Here's a yellow. You might not want to... Um, you can't really put them sideways. So, you have to just keep... 
keep them. That's the only other love. Then I have these are in yellow, so I would spread them around. Make sure. But yeah, so see, isn't this cute? A whole nother take on uh, tile making. Completely different. Absolutely. And um, I love it. I'm running out of space. So that actually, oh, I have, I have all these. They're not all dry yet. Let's go up. So I have these still that I would absolutely, when I'm doing the mosaic, these would be interspersed in there as well. So I have to decide what else I want to put in there, um, what other style, maybe some gems that are just shiny, bright colors like that, but we'll see. All right, you guys, look at it. It's very boho. I like it. I think it could cover a box really cool. All right. So that's just another version of a tile that you guys can make. Have fun, and thanks for watching.